We're going to do the solution inventory for these compounds. I've already written the first one out, acetic acid. Uh, we're going to make sure we put the state aqueous, meaning dissolved in water for the acid. And we're going to also note it's a weak acid. Calcium hydroxide. We know that's a strong base. Ammonium sulfite. We know uh, sulfide is minus two, so we're going to need two ammoniums. That's actually a salt that is soluble. Lead to iodide. That's a salt, and we need to remember from our solubility rules that it is insoluble. Very important. Propyl alcohol. I gave you the formula for this, but what's important is it says aqueous. If it's aqueous, it's soluble in water. So we know it's polar, and therefore we know it's soluble. Chloric acid is going to be hydrogen chlorate, ClO3. And then since it's an acid, it's AQ. And that's a weak acid. Lithium oxalate is a salt. We know it is soluble because it's a lithium compound. Lithium compounds, group 1A, it's going to be soluble. Um, oxalate, C2O4, is negative 2. Notice I'm not leaving any charges anywhere. And then C17H, uh, C7H16 is nonpolar. So that's a clue. It's insoluble. Lead 2 nitrate. That's a salt. All nitrate compounds are soluble. And then ammonia, um, that's our weak base, and it is soluble. Okay, now let's do the solution inventory. Since acetic acid is a weak acid, it just stays mostly as molecules. So we're going to leave it just like that. Uh, since it's a weak acid, it's going to be a weak electrolyte. Okay? Calcium hydroxide is a strong base, so strong bases dissolve as ions. Okay, we're just going to put a comma between the ions. This is going to be a strong electrolyte. Anything that is strong is going to be a strong electrolyte, strong base, strong acid, strong electrolyte. Okay, ammonia, ammonium sulfite, because it's an ammonium compound, it's soluble. Solubility rules. So we're going to put NH4 and SO3, 2 minus. We don't need to balance out and write the formula. We don't need 2 here. Um, and then that's going to be strong. I'll just abbreviate, that's fine. Okay, lead 2 iodide is a precipitate. It's insoluble from the solubility rules. So there's no particles dissolved. So this is Na. Um, it's a precipitate. It would settle down to the bottom of the beaker. There would be no dissolved particles. Okay, propyl alcohol. It's soluble because it's polar, so it's going to dissolve as molecules. This is not a this is not a base. It's not an acid. It's not a salt. So it's polar uh, covalent compound. So it dissolves as molecules, and it's a non-electrolyte. It's non, just like sugar is non, because the particles that are dissolved as molecules. There's no ions present here, so it's a non-electrolyte. Okay, chloric acid is a weak acid, so it's going to just dissolve mostly as molecules. Remember, we're putting the most abundant particle. There's a few ions, but in the solution inventory, we only show the major particle. It's a weak acid, so it's a weak electrolyte. Weak acids and weak bases are weak electrolytes. 
Okay, lithium oxalate is a salt and it's soluble. So it's going to dissolve as ions. The lithium ion and the oxalate ion. Because the main particle here is ions, this is going to be a strong electrolyte. Heptane. Heptane is, uh, you can see here, molecular. It's not an acid, it's not a base, it's not a salt, so it wouldn't give you any ions at all, and it says insoluble. So there are no dissolved particles. Uh, it's just like this one up here, like lead 2 iodide. Lead 2 iodide doesn't dissolve at all. If it doesn't dissolve at all, there's no particles. Heptane does not dissolve. If it was a beaker of heptane and water, we would see two layers, just like oil and water. So this is Na because there's no particles at all. Lead 2 nitrate, all nitrates are soluble. This is a salt, it's soluble. So this is going to be lead 2 ions and nitrate ions. So since we have ions here, this is going to be a strong electrolyte. And lastly, ammonia. Ammonia is a weak base. Since it's a weak base, um, it's going to stay as molecules mostly. And there are going to be some ions because it's a weak base. Remember, weak bases and weak acids are weak electrolytes.